Wow. Can't believe I'm here. Standing, sitting in front of Boomer. I like to think Boomer has a soft spot for his Niners, or for my Niners. Sitting backstage with Dwayne Wade, never saw this coming. Shout out to U.S. Soccer Women's, awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you. It is an honor to be here tonight. I'd like to start by thanking my mother, Josie. I still remember going swimming with you, Mom, as you held me with one arm. I know you never wanted to make me feel left out of anything, so if there was a way for me to participate, you always found a way. Secondly, I'd like to thank my dad for being the best dad I can ever ask for. I still remember waiting for you to get home from work when we lived in Therick Court like it was yesterday. And no matter how tired you were from a long day at work, you still took the time to play ball with me with my favorite plastic bat. Let's catch the Sharks game soon, Dad, just like old times. I love you, Dad. I'd also like to thank my grandma Mona, my grandpa Danny, my tia Cindy, my tia Tota for always being there for me, for me no matter what. My whole family, my friends, Alex and Avid, and a big shout out to my caretaker, Mike. Thanks for being there for me. I love you, bro. Thanks also to Coach Cable and the whole Prospect Administration, students, and last but not least, my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. I also want to thank the game of football. <laughs> I also want to thank the game of football for all of it's given me, for allowing me to be a part of a team. It's honestly been hard for me to fathom receiving this award to be recognized alongside heroes of mine like Coach Valvano, Stuart Scott, Jim Kelly, and so many others. But the reality is I am here. And if there's any message I want to give you guys tonight, it's to look at me and see how much passion I put into coaching and how far it's gotten me. When you dedicate yourself to something and open your mind to different possibilities and focus on what you can do instead of what you can't do, you really can go places in this world. Realizing I couldn't play football, but I could coach football. That was the way for me to never give up, from the words of Jimmy V. That was my way of focusing on what I can do. Let me tell you, the best part of coaching for me is seeing someone's potential and making them realize what's possible. So for anyone out there not sure if they can do something, it could be in sports, it could be in your job, it can be in your life, Whatever it is, I'm here to tell you that you can do it. You've got to be passionate. You've got to work at it. But it can happen. And I'm not done yet. I'm... I've made it this far. And who says I can't go further? That's my message tonight. Who says I can't? Nobody! Yeah! <laughs>